So I printed this originally with these three tree supports just to see how it would, it would work. Um, and then when I pulled it off the build plate and pulled the supports off, I really didn't see much of a quality difference between these ones that had the tree supports and this one that doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint a mask over these three spots in order to remove these tree supports. So I'll go back into the prepare tab and then I'll go over here into the support painting. And now you can see that those are the little overhangs in red. And you have a couple different tools. So you have a circle, which will just paint the surface. You have a sphere that'll actually be a volume of a sphere. And then we have a fill, uh, which will do the entire surface and a gap fill. Then you also have a on overhangs only, which is pretty handy. Like that'll only paint these red bits. And I'll show you what all of those look like. So now if we do a circle and I'm doing a left click, that's gonna paint it green. So now it's gonna add supports in that area. So if we go to preview and we slice this guy. Yeah, you can see that we've added a whole ton of tree supports where I painted it green. Go back into prepare here and I'm gonna erase all painting. So I'm gonna remove that. Now, if I use a right click, I'm going to paint it red and that's going to remove that tree support in that slot. And so now you can see that there's no support going to that overhang, uh, but we still have supports going to the, the other two slots. So that's one way of doing it. There's the circle, like I said, which is just painting the surface. You have a sphere which depending on the size that you use can paint right through the entire body. So like that'll paint to the other side using the shape of that sphere. So you could just go and use a sphere, kind of just paint around that area, without being too, uh, too careful and you get to the other side and that'd be fine. I'm going to erase all. You have a fill. Fill's going to do the entire area. So if you wanted this whole thing to be covered in supports, we can slice that. Take a look. And that thing is covered in supports and it took way longer to slice because it needs to fill that whole area. And this is super unnecessary, but anyways, we'll come back over here. We'll erase all. And then we have a gap fill um, that will fill any gaps that might be left over from one of your other paint methods. So here we'll see we have this little streak in the middle. Head over to gap fill. That's still too large to fill, so we'll fill that up a little bit more. So for these little gaps in your painting, you can choose to fill them up with this slider and then you'll have to hit apply to apply that change. So that's all the tools you have available. Uh, and then a left click, like I said, is gonna be applying supports and then a right click is gonna be removing them in red. And then one last option I wanna show you is that you have an on overhangs only option, which means that it's only gonna paint these red sections. So if I use this sphere and try and paint, it only painted that, that little spot there. So I'm doing a right click for red, it's only painting that surface. Left click for green, you can see it changed color slightly there. And there's gonna be supports. So I wanna do red, but right click, right click, right click, and then we'll slice this plate. And now you can see that there are no supports on those three slots. I'm also gonna add some supports over into this area. I'm not super happy with the way it generated supports into this overhang. You can see on that that smaller diameter slot that it actually puts supports across that entire flat. 
Whereas here, it only put it on the one edge. I want to add them so that they're all across that flat. So let's go into prepare again. Painting, we'll do on overhangs only. And I'll use a left click and paint that surface. And you can see it's all green now. I'll slice the plate. So now it's added supports along that entire overhang. And I can be pretty confident that I'm not going to have any issues on that surface. Um, you can go through these layers and see that the the trees are actually added now inside of this slot. So it, there's a little bit more uh, support removal that needs to happen, um, but that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with that trade-off um, for a little bit more reliability on that, that overhang. And you can see that it doesn't touch the rest of the way. So it hasn't messed any of that up either. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.